percent. There's about 300,000 new cases of prostate cancer in the U.S. in 2024. And about 15% of these patients, um, so over you know 30,000, almost 45,000 patients um, or 40,000 patients will have what's described as high risk localized disease, grade group four or five or grade group three, PSA greater than 20. Um, and of this group of patients, uh, a very significant amount of them meta-analysis would tell you that about 50% will get uh, a biochemical recurrence depending upon the, the analysis you do and whether it's prostatectomy or radiation therapy, that they'll have biochemical recurrence within a five-year period. <clears throat> and, and so um, these are patients who are d truly high risk. So we wanted to um, complement two other large phase three trials that are ongoing um, ours is a large phase two study, but there are two phase three trials, one known as the ATLAS trial, which is patients who have high risk uh, localized disease receiving two years of ADT and radiation to the primary, and they'll be randomized to receive apalutamide or not, an AR pathway inhibitor, which is, uh, as, as you know, has been approved in NMCRPC and MHSPC. Uh, another tri uh, trial known as the Proteus trial, also a phase three, is looking at a neoadjuvant strategy prior to prostatectomy. So again, high risk patients who would be candidates for prostatectomy receiving six months of uh, androgen deprivation therapy plus apalutamide going on to prostatectomy and then getting six months of adjuvant therapy. Our phase two study uh, was designed to just say, okay, well, what happens if we take high risk localized prostate cancer patients, they undergo radical prostatectomy, they have a PSA that naders less than 0.2 at six weeks, let's then intensify their therapy, adjuvant therapy, with a year of um, ADT and apalutamide. Uh, what we knew in doing a statistical analysis plan by looking at a very large group of, of patients that had been treated at an extremely well-known and respected center in Germany, known as the Martini Clinic, they had previously published uh, a 76% biochemical recurrence-free rate at two years. And for those patients who didn't have any neoadjuvant or adjuvant therapy um, who underwent prostatectomy, and this is in a very skilled high volume center in Germany. So we, we, our statistical analysis plan said our null hypothesis would be to reject a lower limit of a 90% confidence interval if we could, if it crossed 76%. Um, so we enrolled 96 patients uh, accounting for, well, we actually enrolled 108 patients to obtain at least 96 patients and to ensure an 80% power uh, for the primary hypothesis to best that um, biochemical recurrence-free rate that was previously published in a very large series of over 3,000 patients at the Martini Clinic. So patients get 12 months of ADT and APA. And as, as we know, if you lower the testosterone level um, with androgen deprivation therapy, you will suppress PSA, arguably by lowering the ligand testosterone, dihydrotestosterone and its impact on the androgen receptor. And, it, and additionally, augmenting that strategy with a powerful androgen receptor pathway inhibitor such as apalutamide you're gonna drive PSA down during that time. And, and we, we would expect that. Uh, you would expect that with any ARPI and you would expect that with even monotherapy ADT. But so we, we only allowed for 12 months of, of therapy. And so what we wanted to see was, well, what would happen at the end of 24 months or two years? And what we found, punchline of the study, most important thing, uh, the primary endpoint was that a 0% biochemical recurrence-free rate at two years. 
with 76% of the patients um, achieving uh, 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 testosterone levels going from being castrate to greater than 150 uh, nanogram per deciliter. So it's telling you that they're virtually, you know, euganadal. And that was the, that was the primary endpoint. The, the secondary endpoints we looked at was a BCR free survival at 12 months. And also, again, the testosterone recovery rates of greater than 150 at both um, 18 and 24 months. Um, so I, I think that we, we really were very, very pleased to see the, the success of this and for all the reasons that I shared in our statistical analysis plan.